A reading from the Gospel of Luke. And he said, There was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that falls to me. And he divided his living between them. Well, basically, I had to rewrite the whole covenant and the intent process and the uh, Lord's Day process and uh, a number of other documents with a household brother. The two of us wrote it together. At first, it was difficult because we were inactive. And basically, what we did was continue our regular commitments off campus because we weren't we didn't have permission to do them on campus and that that was very difficult to get everyone there um, but it was also really good for us in the way that it brought us that much closer together. Out of all the households I noticed the prodigal sons the most and uh, they seemed like the funnest and coolest group of guys and they also were very you know close together like a, like a brotherhood and in their faith and to me that was one of the coolest things I've ever seen so Ever since then, I've won, you know, to join. Once we went through the intent process, which, you know, took many hours, a lot of prayer, a lot of, a lot of sacrifice, by the end of it, I could say they were some of the best guys I know on this campus and some of the best friends I have. Um, and that just speaks for itself, the intent process. And once you're in, it's even more fuller and, in, and more flourishing, um, not only with your intent brothers, but with everyone who's in household, um, just through our commitments and our on and off campus relationship and willingness to reach out with others. So that's what it means. Dear Lord, as your prodigal sons, we thank you for allowing us back into your home. Please grant us the courage to accept your forgiveness. In our relationships, Lord, please grant us the strength to give St. Joseph, for he is the most chaste spouse. In our faith, Lord, please grant us the strength to give St. Peter, for he is the rock upon which you built your church. Amen.